All right, so Sony has announced that there will be a Final Fantasy 16 bundle coming to North America and Japan. Unfortunately, one of these bundles is much cooler than the other. Starting on May 4th in North America, you'll be able to pre-order the Final Fantasy 16 PS5 bundle exclusively via the PlayStation Direct website. The bundle will include a disc-based PS5 with a controller and a voucher code to download the standard version of Final Fantasy 16. There is currently no price made available, but if I had to guess, it will probably run you around $560-y dues. The God of War and Horizon Forbidden West bundles all cost around that same price upon their release. Now for the bittersweet part, the Japanese bundle, which can also be purchased through the Japanese PlayStation Direct website, feels like a proper themed bundle. This one comes with the console, a digital voucher code for the game, and a special themed DualSense controller and side plates for the PS5 console itself. The controller is black with a pattern of blue and gold crystals, which is appropriate since crystals are very important to this game's story. The side plates are also black and feature art of Phoenix vs. Ifrit on the main side plate, which was illustrated by the legendary Yoshitaka Amano, who has done art for the Final Fantasy series since the original game's release. The PlayStation Japan blog site mentions that this bundle will be sold in limited quantities and only be available in Japan. So if you want to get your hands on this bundle or accessories, you'll have to import them. As usual, Japan gets the cooler version of a product. The English description doesn't mention this, but since you're pre-ordering the game, you should get access to the pre-order bonuses including the Braveheart weapon and two accessories. Kate Sith's Lucky Charm and the Scholar's Glasses. The same goes for the Japanese bundle. In regards to Final Fantasy 16 news, Yoshi P did mention that there would be more news in the coming weeks. It also seems like there was a preview event that took place recently in London. Daniel Bloodworth of the Easy Allies posted a photo on Twitter with Yoshi P and crew at some sort of Final Fantasy 16 event, so it's looking like we may get more hands on previews from different outlets very soon. Personally, and I know I'm in the minority here, but I kind of feel like they're showing us too much Final Fantasy 16 stuff. It's starting to feel like overexposure and information overload at this point. I'm starting to feel the Final Fantasy 16 news fatigue, which is unfortunate because I don't want to get tired of the game before it releases. And while no one is forcing me to cover the game, Final Fantasy is a major part of my channel and I kind of feel obligated to cover as much of the game as possible. It's a weird double-edged sword. Understandably, a lot is riding on this game's success and clearly Square wants as many people as possible to know about the game, which is why they're throwing so much information and trailers at us. But at this point, I feel they've shown enough of the game to impress people and get everyone on board. Hell, if I were in charge, I would have stopped with the events after the PAX East panel, but it seems like they're gonna keep releasing info right up to the game's release. So with that being said, that is the video. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think about these two bundles? Do you think the Japanese version one is cooler? Spoiler alert, yes. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think the Japanese version is cooler. We're just getting the basic console here in America, the standard PlayStation 5 with the white side plates and the white controller that's two-toned with the black. Nothing too crazy or special, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that Japanese bundle, and are you guys feeling kind of fatigued when it comes to Final Fantasy 16 news yourself? I am Curious Corduroy. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to always be excellent to one another.